We talked about things changing in the store, but how about home furnishings? What are, is there a current trend to home furnishings? Is it different? What's I would say the unfortunate trend right now is the economic conditions that we're in. But I think IKEA, given their price points and the value that you get in, in their products, it, it really makes it right for the times. There's also changes around us. You know, you probably have a flat screen television. When you first bought it, what do I do with it? Do I hang it on the wall? Do I put it in some type of piece of furniture, a new media center? So there are certain uh, technological changes that occur over time so that you would we have can a case that with. you can respond to that. Absolutely. We have our Besto series. We have many, many other solutions uh, for flat screen televisions or other needs as they change. As your family grows, you have new needs. Now maybe I need a crib. Maybe I need a twin bed. Maybe my wife's leaving. Maybe I need the twin bed. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, I mean, things change. And in turn, our home furnishings needs change. But we're there at the ready. Now, is, is 20 years in Elizabeth, are we doing anything to celebrate that? We did. Uh, just a few weeks back, uh, we actually had a celebration in the store. We had, a, oh, we had a flyer, we had events in the store, and everything was specific to the Elizabeth store because we probably frightened a few people off, uh, like I said, to Paramus in Brooklyn, but we want them back. We want them to understand that we're open, we're ready for business, uh, everything has been spit shined. Well, as the mayor, I'm thrilled yeah, that you're frightened yeah. them off. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, but I'm yeah, thrilled. But yeah. the, <clears throat> so IKEA likes being here. We love being here. Yeah. I mean, this, this is the store that really established us, not only in this area, but in the U.S. Because the first four stores, in quieter areas, Pittsburgh, outside of Philadelphia, and so on. But it was really when we truly came to the New York area, that's when IKEA made its mark in the U.S. And that's something, it was a thrill now to be able to come back to the store. Because to me, this is home. So IKEA Elizabeth helped kick off. It did. I mean, it, yes. it, it, it's actually it, very responsible for the success of IKEA in, of the in next the US. thirty-five stories that came after Absolutely. it, or whatever it is. Absolutely, that's good to know. We're going to probably pull that snippet out of this uh, television statement at some point. Yeah. Use that again. That's uh, it's a very interesting to hear. So, how many employees do we have at IKEA? Uh, roughly four hundred. So we're probably running about fifty more than when we first started. And uh, it's interesting. There's probably maybe ten percent of the people have been there since opening. So what a, what a testament to the working environment. And how's your store. turnover rate? I mean, can people s still apply for jobs it's, or it's more they difficult? Can. They can. They can. Uh, again, the website, ikea.com. You can use the drop downs into jobs at Ikea, then take it from there. And you I can look at all the individual stores. All you need to do is look at the Elizabeth drop down. Oh, and that's how you would apply? Yeah, in that, and that's in how you'd that apply. Everything's done electronically now. Um, the sales tax rate in Elizabeth is, has to be a little better. I mean, it's half of what it is in Patterson. And right. does that help draw customers to the right. Elizabeth store? It's, it's definitely, New York have a sales tax on furniture? Uh, they do. They do. So, yeah. The, so yeah, it's considerably higher in Brooklyn. Right. And again, uh, it certainly doesn't hurt us. You know, we like to think and what we measure is the uniqueness of Ikea as to why people come and shop at our stores. Uh, the three and a half percent sales tax is an added bonus that they get by shopping here. So. And, and who do you find, maybe this is too much, who do you find the most valued customer? Is it the young startup or it kind of varies based on the season? I would imagine in August with everybody going back to college, it's the yeah. young startup in the dorm. Yeah. And, That's uh, the thing. I mean, you catch them at that age and I have to say a lot of people will stay with us from that, that time forward. Um, of course, we want to show people and speak to older customers that, you know, we're still relevant for you at the same time. Uh, you may be in a home, uh, maybe you're in an empty nester situation and you have rooms that you need to now convert from children's rooms over to maybe uh, whatever activity rooms, sewing rooms, whatever. We have solutions for that. So we really do have home furnishings to meet the needs of any stage of, of life. I think it starts out younger. And even before that, again, we have nursery furniture mm -hmm. and so forth. But I think it's probably, you know, that college dorm, that first apartment, uh, that's where people really get to know us. But you can stay with us and stick with us and grow with us as time now, goes on. Now, in, in uh, Ikea and the, uh, the people who do the commercials and the marketing, they're mm -hmm. very clever. And uh, are they all approved in Sweden or is there a New York or a United States theme? That's U.S. Right. That's U.S. Right. Because obviously there are some, some different measures and so forth that need to be put into place that not all ads can run universally. I mean, messages are, are taken differently, obviously, in different parts of the world. So we want to tailor those messages so that they have the most impact here for our customer. And the benefits, uh, from my point of view, to having an IKEA in the neighborhood are extremely strong. 
What does IKEA feel about the benefits we're having? I mean, you basically have kept that Toys R Us store open. Uh, they've remodeled and done mm -hmm. some certain things there. I'm yep. not so sure they would have thrived as well without IKEA. Probably not, but I think you know we've given reason for people to make the, the journey here. And whether it be Jersey Gardens, I mean, they certainly help us, but people think of Elizabeth now as this is a retail power center to come, to come to, whether I'm in Northern Jersey, Eastern Pennsylvania, uh, New York City, doesn't really make any difference. And of course, things like the 3.5% tax, you know, that doesn't hurt. Well, the, the family friendliness of IKEA, is there a training process for your employees? I mean, whenever you go into IKEA, mm -hmm. it seems the folks who are there, whether it's the first person you meet or the last person yeah. you meet, their attitude is one of helping. And in retail, a lot of people in retail have gotten away from that. It's kind of like, okay, you're here, what can I get for you? But in IKEA, there yeah. seems to be a, a, a sense of, hey, I'm here to help the customer as opposed to uh, be angry at the customer in any way, shape, or form. Right, why not? I mean, we're there to, to help. We all have the same needs and concerns and wants in our own lives, and who better than to be able to help those that need that assistance when they come in. When we think of children, most children don't enjoy going shopping, so of course we have the ballroom for their, them to play in and we have other play uh, opportunities for them throughout the store. So uh, I would say a child that maybe is acting up and need to put them over here so mom and dad can go shopping, um, it's, it's really, it helps. It actually helps in the shopping process and keeps the people in the store longer. If you, if you needed help, is there salespeople who would actually walk with you and point certain things out to you and say, here's what you're looking for? Or is it basically you're on your own once you get into the Ikea store? Um, we like to say uh, that self-service doesn't mean no service. And yes, people are there at the ready. And we, we have some more complex systems. I mean, buying a kitchen, for example, can be a bit of a daunting task for many people. But we help and we guide you and we show people that this is something that you can do. There once was a time where people, they didn't even think they could pick out their own sofa. Now we have them planning their own kitchens. We have them planning storage systems in their bedrooms. And people are willing to take this on with a little guidance and, of course, the technology of today. It all comes together, and people can figure this out on their own without even realizing it. So well, I that's, always, that's that. always been a problem for me. I mean, how do the people, the people put things together at home? Mm -hmm. And they have a problem with it. Can they call somebody and say, hey, or, or they basically they got to follow the book? How does that work? No, no, no. I mean, there's options for everything. I mean, you'll have customers that, you know, they have no way of getting something delivered. So we have our delivery service, which is now starting at $69. We also have assembly service. We have, which you didn't have when you opened, right? No, you didn't we didn't have, a, have all this, have this complement service, of services. Right. And we understand that, you know, many people, their time is valuable. And, you know, they're willing to pay a little bit extra. But what we don't do is we don't pass those fees or charges on to everybody for the sake of the few that may want to take advantage of it. If that's you and those are your needs, you pay a little bit extra for that, but to them, that's worth it. It's, their time has value, so to them, this is a perfect solution. So it's up to you. You can take it from soup to nuts. You can do all of your own planning. You can come in, pull everything yourself, go home and assemble it yourself. Perfect, you're done. You're, you have a new room at the end of the evening. Other people may say, hey, you know what? I need someone to deliver it for me. I need somebody to assemble it. Fine, there's, there's no right or wrong. It's, it can be customized to whatever your needs are. Marty, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us on the show this evening. And more importantly, welcome back to Elizabeth. You were here thank over you, 20 man. years ago, and uh, I'm glad you still have the same uh, enthusiasm for Elizabeth that you had 20 years ago when you first oh, started the store. Do. The city looks great. Good, well, thanks for <laughs> joining us on the show. Thank you very much. For Marty Dorley at IKEA, I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City. And remember, shop IKEA.